put together a bubble CPAP. Start off by putting the heater pot on. Put the uh, water chamber on the back. You can put uh, a funnel on here. The CPAP stick can go in here. We can put the blue tubing on. Put that on the heater pot. <clears throat> we can hook up the temperature probes into that. And that doesn't click, it just pushes in. this end. And for the wire that plugs in here, we have two, two pieces here, but this one will just dangle and only use this one. You can put the pressure pop off on right there. And might as well put the O2 tubing on since we have that. And come around here and hook it up to the flow meter. Now let's grab the white tubing. And one end, this one, will go onto this CPAP stick back here. Now we want to put these two together with this little elbow piece. Okay, one last thing, well, two things yet, actually. We have to hang the water bag here. Plug that in. And then we got to fill this water chamber up with water. So we'll use sterile water for that. So when we're filling it up, we want it to come up here. And when we notice the water flow over to this side, then it's full enough. So as we're pouring it in, we'll watch, and we should see water flow over, and there it is. So when we see that, this is full enough. We're now ready to do a leak test. So we'll go plug it in. And while you're going to be plugging this into the air and oxygen, we should get the heater turned on so it has a chance to warm up a little bit. So we'll do that first. We'll turn it on and it should be in invasive mode. So like with the little ET tube. Okay, to do our leak test, we want this CPAP stick to be all the way down to the 10. We want to make sure the cap on this elbow is closed. Sometimes it's open like that. We want it to be closed. And then we set the flow to one. One liter. So one liter, elbow closed, 10 of CPAP, and then we should see bubbles. And we do see bubbles. So this passes the leak test. At this point, we can take the elbow out and basically we can throw it away. We should now look at the settings that the physician ordered. Usually it's CPAP of five or six. So we'll put the stick up at six for a CPAP of six. And then the flow, uh, six to eight 
is where we usually go. So we're going to put the flow at six and we're ready to hook it up to the patient. We should also set our FiO2. It could be anywhere, but 30 is probably uh, where a good average of where we sit. If we look at this patient, we can hook the analyzer up to the bubble CPAP. We do that by removing this blue cap and sticking the analyzer in that hole. We've had it, we have it set at 30 and on the analyzer, it may be difficult to see the number, but we can see it is climbing up towards 30 and we would go by this number over what we have set here. Now we're ready to hook it up to the patient. The nurse will put the interface on the patient. There are two adapters on the nasal CPAP interface, a blue one and then another clear one. We want to remove both of those and then plug each of these in. Once we have it connected to the patient, we want to look at our chamber and make sure that we see bubbles. And we do have bubbles, so we can feel pretty confident that we got a good seal on the patient's nose. And as long as our sats are good and everything's set up right, we are done.